Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about using a doula for pain relief during labor. Hi everyone, my name is Rebecca Decker. I'm a nurse with my PhD and the founder of evidencebasedbirth.com. I've written extensively about the evidence on doulas and the research supporting their use. You can find that info at evbirth.com slash doulas. But in today's video, I wanna focus in on the effects of doulas on pain relief during labor and childbirth. For those of you who don't know, a birth doula is a companion who provides people with continuous support during labor and birth. So how do doulas provide pain relief during childbirth? Well, there are four different ways that doulas can affect pain management. These include physical support, emotional support, childbirth preparation and information, and advocacy. Doulas are trained to provide physical support through the use of soothing touch and massage. They make sure that the laboring person is as comfortable as possible. This might include the use of movement and positioning, which we talked about in a different video which is a very effective pain management technique. The use of pressure on your back during contractions, called counter pressure, helping keep you nourished with ice chips, food, and drinks, and other comfort measures such as fanning you with a fan if you get hot, giving you a cold wet washcloth if you feel nauseous, providing you with pillows, chapstick, music, anything you need to keep you comfortable. Doulas also work to create a calm birth environment. As we discussed in one of our videos about painless birth, a lot of birth environments and hospitals today can cause stress, which increase your perception of pain. And doulas work to help decrease that stress in the birth room. Doulas also provide emotional support, which helps manage pain during childbirth. They give you encouragement and praise and remind you that you feel safe and supported. All doulas work with the birth partner, your spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, family member, or friend to help that birth partner better support you. Researchers have found that when people feel capable, confident, and cared for, that they feel less pain during labor. They perceive their pain is more manageable and they're better able to cope. Doulas also help mothers interpret labor in a positive way, reminding them that the sensations they're feeling are productive and purposeful and that each wave or contraction is helping bring the baby down and out. When mothers view their contractions in this way, they're more likely to perceive them as less painful. There's a researcher in Sweden named Kristen Uvnes Moveberg, who's an expert in oxytocin, which is the hormone that most of us know about that causes contractions. It's also known as the love hormone. She writes that doulas facilitate oxytocin release, which decreases your stress, your fear or anxiety, and increases the effectiveness of your contractions. In addition, the calming effect of the doula's presence increases the mother's own natural pain-relieving hormones, also known as endorphins. Altogether, these things make labor feel less painful. Childbirth preparation is another way that doulas can help decrease pain. Doulas help pregnant people and their partners prepare for childbirth through education, information, practice, and prenatal visits. They help them talk through their fears and suggest techniques that they can use, such as breathing, relaxation, movement, and changing positions. Researchers have found that both childbirth classes and support from a doula help lower pain perception during labor. This mechanism of pain relief is called central nervous system control, and we talk about it in detail in our overview video all about pain management during labor. Central nervous system control causes the mother to perceive pain as less unpleasant by activating the parts of the brain responsible for memory, emotions, and reaction to pain. Finally, advocacy is another way that doulas can help decrease pain. Doulas typically don't speak up for you, but they encourage you to speak up for what you want. This advocacy technique may be helpful in relieving your pain. For example, if a mother is coping well in an upright mobile position and the care provider insists that she get back in bed even though things are progressing normally, the doula could facilitate communication between the woman and the care provider by asking the woman which position she prefers. But what's the evidence on using doulas for pain relief? There have been at least 26 randomized controlled trials 
that tested the effects of continuous labor support on more than 15,000 people total. These studies were reviewed in a Cochrane Review published in 2017. People in these studies were randomly assigned to either receive one-to-one -one continuous support from someone or usual care. The type of support provided could be from a member of the hospital staff, a doula, a childbirth educator, a retired nurse, or a family member or friend. The researchers found that overall, people who receive continuous support during labor, meaning someone never leaves their side, that they experience a 25% decrease in the risk of needing a cesarean. The largest decrease in the risk of cesarean was seen with a doula. They lowered your risk by 39%. Continuous support led to an 8% increase in the likelihood of a spontaneous vaginal birth. Again, the largest effect was seen with doulas. They increased your chances of a spontaneous vaginal birth by 15%. A 31% decrease in the risk of being dissatisfied with your childbirth experience. Mother's risk of being dissatisfied with their experience was decreased only if they received continuous support from a family member or a doula, but not hospital staff. There was a 10% decrease in the use of any pain medications during labor shorter labors by about 41 minutes on average, and a 38% decrease in the risk of your baby having a low APGAR score. Researchers did not find any difference between groups with the rates of Pitocin augmentation or special care nursery admissions. There is one new randomized control trial that was published in 2017 and was too new to be included in the Cochrane Review. In this study that took place in Iran, Researchers conducted a randomized controlled trial to test the effects of doulas on pain and anxiety levels in first-time mothers who were giving birth. So they were either assigned randomly to have a doula or to not have a doula. They used standardized questionnaires to measure anxiety and pain. They found that on average, the mothers who had doula support experienced less anxiety during labor and less pain. The authors concluded that the doula's presence has a clinically meaningful impact on both pain and anxiety during labor. They recommended that all hospitals and maternity care centers in their country provide access to doulas since having a safe and calm delivery is a human right. So how do you find a doula? In the resources section below, I will provide a link to Childbirth Connection, which has a great list of questions you can ask if you're interviewing a doula. Even if you're not sure if you wanna hire one, sometimes it helps to interview several and just see if you find someone who really clicks with you. Also, doulamatch.net is a great way to find a doula. Doulas upload their availability to that website on a regular basis, and so you can find if there's somebody in your area who's available for your due date. So in summary, out of all of the ways that we can help people manage pain during labor and childbirth, providing a doula seems like one of the most important ways that we can do so. Doulas provide physical support, emotional support, childbirth preparation, and advocacy, all of which can help decrease your pain. Providing doula support to birthing people is a risk-free endeavor, and it's highly effective for improving your health outcomes, such as decreasing your risk for cesarean or forceps or vacuum delivery. People who use a doula report experiencing less pain and anxiety during labor. They're also much more likely to be highly satisfied with their experience. In one study that looked at giving couples a doula, they found that all of the partners rated their experience with a doula as positive or extremely positive. So typically both the birthing people and their partners are highly satisfied with the help they got from their doula. The bottom line is that using a doula for pain relief should be an option for all birthing people since doulas are a valuable evidence-based member of your birth care team. That's it for this video. Thanks and bye. To learn more and subscribe to our newsletters for useful information, please visit evidencebasedbirth.com.